Cut of Dunhill here with Sarasota Magazine's Fashion IQ. We are with Cheryl Burke today at Sea Cup and Up in Sarasota. We are showing women how to be sized properly for bras, how to care for those bras, and a few basics that you need to keep in mind for the season and throughout the year, in addition to some swimwear that you might not know that's sized with bra sizes. Very cool. So with that, Cheryl Burke. Well, it's very difficult in department stores to get the variety of band sizes that are available. Um, we do, in, in C Cup and Up, we do care, we started a 28 band. So most women who are small around are usually wearing a 34 when they should be possibly in a 32 or maybe even a 30 band. Um, you know, bras shouldn't be loose, they should be snug around your body. So if you're reaching or bending over, they shouldn't be lifting up and you shouldn't have to tug them back in place after. So that's a telltale sign. If yes. it moves when you move, it's... Yes, you need to get resized. Okay. And women's bodies change throughout their life, whether it's pregnancy or getting older or gaining weight, losing weight. So your, your bra size can change several times as well. Oh, that makes sense. And then how many, what, what's the percentage of women who are out there right now it's watching? It's around 85% that are wearing the wrong bra size. Okay, so you have a 15% chance that you have the right size mm -hmm. on right now. That's not a good, that's this bra good. right here <laughs> is too big on the body and some of the reasons is that in a band, it shouldn't pull off the back more than two inches. So what happens when these are loose, a lot of people to get the lift, they tighten the straps. And when you tighten the straps, as you can see what happens, the back lifts right up. On this bra, which fits properly, you can see from the side that it comes straight around your body. This doesn't come out more than two inches off your back, and it fits nicely through the bust. Thus, it's going to give a nice lift here and give you a very nice profile on the side. The straps don't have to be tight on a bra. They're only 10% of your support, so you don't want them digging into the shoulder. You, they can be somewhat loose and comfortable, but not so loose that they're going to slide and fall off. Well, what are some of the basics that women need? Well, these very smooth, a lot of people want everything smooth. Smooth is great for knits, um, clingy knits so you don't see any um, bumps if you want everything nice and smooth. Basic colors, if you're wearing white, you should be wearing a nude under that. Nude disappears under white. Um, Good tip. Nice, there's different styles. A balcony style gives you a little bit lower neckline. Can you explain what makes that a balcony style? Well, it's the cut of the bra, how it comes across. Straps on a balcony usually set out to the side a little bit more, or a full cut bra like this, the straps come up more on your shoulder, uh, closer to your neckline. And then it's very nice too if you're wearing something nice low cut to have a little pretty lace sticking out instead of that's nice. Seeing you're right. That skin. is yes, that's true. So you don't have to worry about hi always hiding your bra. That's no, they're so beautiful. They're made to be seen. Here's a sample of our swimwear selection. We have uh, several different kinds. We have one piece, we have tankinis, we have two piece, and they're all fitted. They come bra sized like the bras so that you can be active in them, just hang out at the pool in them, great quality lycra, and you should be fit for those as well. So now that we've been fitted and we've picked out some gorgeous bras, know how to care for them. What do we do? Is it hand washing? Can they go in the washer? What's the safest way? How do you get the longest use out of this investment for you? Now, tell us, how do we do this? We recommend hand washing on all the bras. They're delicate and they will wash nicely and hang dry quickly. Some people will not do that. So if, you're, if you know that you're one of those people, we recommend a wash bag that has a wire so it keeps the shape. All you have to do is take the bra, fold it in half, put it in the bag, zipper it up, and that way it'll, well, let me zip it up, and it'll wash that way. Oh, nice, easy. If you put it in a flat bag, which a lot of people own, what happens is the bra can get twisted up, and then you can pop the wires in the bra. Mm -hmm. So it is, it's better to have it in that type of bag or hand wash to extend the life of your bra. How many bras can you fit in that bag? Um, I wouldn't put more than two in because you want the water to circulate oh, and get them nice and clean. If you stuff it, then, and then how about clean. 
Can you use regular wash? What else? What do you use? Something for delicates. Do not use Wolite, but something, you know, like a lasting care product or uh, maybe even a drift, something that's very delicate. Good to know.